Welcome to Electro Online. Our next problem on the physics portion of the advanced JE test of 2021, paper one, is the following. It deals with thermodynamics and uh, it says list one describes thermodynamic processes in four different systems. Now, because we have a lack of space on the board, we're going to do each part separately. So the four systems will be done in four different videos. So this is system one and that will be three more systems we'll do on the next three videos list two which is right over here gives the magnitudes either exactly or as a close approximation of the possible changes in the internal energy of the system due to the process so essentially what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to find the change in the internal energy of the system in each of these four processes and then we have the answers match up for for uh, part number one, we can either have T, S, P, or Q. For part number two, it could be R or P. Part number three, S, T, or S. Well, S or T. And for part number four, Q, P, or T. Notice what's interesting about this one is that only for part one does it have four different possible answers. In the other answers, you can have R three times and T twice, S twice. So in other words, even if you did part three first and end up with a T, it wouldn't tell you if it's answer B or C. You'd have to do one more part to make sure you got that right. But if we do part one first and we have an answer that matches one of these, that means we don't have to do the other three parts and we can then move on to the next problem on the test. Of course, for the benefit of learning the various thermodynamic processes here, we're going to do all four of them. So the first one says that we have 10 to the minus third kilograms, which is essentially a gram of water at 100 degrees Celsius is converted to steam at the same temperature at a pressure of 10 to the fifth pascals. The volume of the system changes from 10 to the minus 6 cubic meters to 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters in the process and they give us the latent heat of vaporization at 2250 kilojoules per kilogram. All right, so first of all we're dealing here with an isobaric process. The pressure doesn't change. So we have an isobaric process and they want us to find the change in internal energy. So the change in internal energy is equal to the heat added to the system minus the work done by the system or by the gas. All right. So Q is the heat added and how much heat do we need to add? Enough to take one gram of water and make it and vaporize or boil it away. So that means the Q, the heat added, is going to be equal to the mass times the latent heat of vaporization. So in this case, that's equal to one gram or 0.001 kilogram multiplied times 2,250 kilojoules per kilogram. So you can see here that this would be equal to 2.25 kilojoules because the kilograms would cancel out. So that is the heat added to the system. The work done by the system, since it's an isobaric process, is going to be equal to the pressure times the change in the volume. So in this case the pressure is 10 to the fifth pascals and the change in the volume that would be from, uh, we can subtract it from 10 to the minus 3, 10 to the minus 6 to 10 to the minus 3, but this is so small, essentially you could say that's zero. So the change is 10 to the minus three multiplied time, multiply times this is equal to 100. And that would be equal to joules, which is 0 0.1 kilojoules. So finally, we can then say that the change internal energy of this particular system is Q heat added, which is 2.25 kilojoules minus 0 0.1 kilojoule, which is 2.15 kilojoules. Now they did tell us that either they give us, we get the exact answer or an approximate answer. In this case, I would say that 2.15 is pretty close to two. And so I would say P is the answer. So for part one, P is the answer. And since that's the only option, um, the only option then here would be C because the other ones give you a different answer. So right away, by doing part one, which is a very straightforward problem, we can determine that it's answer C and then move on to the next problem. But of course, we're going to do the other three parts just because we want to learn all about 
these thermodynamic processes and how to solve problems on the JE advanced tests.